What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is David, also known as Eggs and Ham 22, and today I have a quick overview of the SOG Terminus XR for you. So let's hop into it. Alright guys, let's hop down and check out the specs and see what we're working with. First off, as you can see, thank you to Big Red EDC, Jody, JB as most of us call him, um, for this awesome grass skirt autograph photo. I love it. <laughs> it actually really made my day the other day when I got it. Um, but yeah, let's hop into this SOG Terminus. XR. So, overall length is 7.21 inches with a close length of 4.26 inches, uh, a weight of 3.2 ounces, a blade length of 2.95 inches. Um, they use their XR lock, which is basically just a, a bench made kind of axis lock. Um, since their patent has run out. Um, this one is in the Cryo S35VN, as you can see. Um, it did come in a few different variants, D2 with a few different colors. Um, this is the G10 and carbon fiber. It is just a laminate, as you can see. And first off, even though they did put these like little milling marks in the G10 carbon fiber laminate. It is a very, very slick knife. Um, like I have, not like sweaty hands, but you know, sometimes they are a little bit moist. Sorry if that word triggers anybody. Um, but one thing I notice is for me, it's just a little bit, it's not the funnest to carry, I'll put it that way. Um, it does have a flipper tab and it does have thumb studs. However, ugh, I think I need to send mine back in because as you, if it focuses, as you might be able to see, it just destroys my finger. Um, not very fun, not very fun at all. Um, it is very stiff, I actually, ground down the edges of this flipper tab because it was very, very sharp straight out of box. I was not a big fan. Um, it was also very stiff and the accent or the XR lock seemed to stick and grind a little bit. Um, I did take it apart, lube it up and it seems to have made it a little bit better. Sometimes it will still fail, but for right now, oh, there it goes. Um, but it actually is working a lot better than it has, but I still think I'm going to end up sending it back to SOG because I have seen people review this knife and they were able to flick out the knife with their thumb studs, which I am <laughs> I'm not able to do. Like the detent lock it seems to have on it is just insane. Um, also one of the biggest complaints most people have about SOGs is this gigantic branding on their pocket clip, which personally, I don't mind. Um, I could care less, um, but yeah. There is some internal milling going on inside there, if you can see that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, they have it in the D2, the S35VN, and then also now the new LTE versions, which are also Cryo S35VN. Um, but the liners, instead of steel, they use carbon fiber, which is actually kind of cool. And I'm curious, I think I'm going to try and pick one of those up and try it, try it out and see if it's any better than this one, which for the longest time was their like top of the line version of this knife. So, I mean, overall for, what is it? I think like $89, let me double check. 
it's for S thirty five VN. The materials used, it's not a bad knife. I will say that. But for me personally, the slick, like how slick this knife is, is I'm just not the biggest fan of that part. Um, and the action, the action for me is just like why, like why put thumb studs on a knife? If you can't really use them to, <laughs> to to flick out the knife, that just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, yeah, I literally just tore up my finger doing that. <laughs> my fingernail. Um, like I said, some people have, I have seen other people do it with the thumb studs, but I apparently do not win the quality control lottery when it comes to knives because this isn't the first knife that I've had some pretty for me what I consider pretty serious issues. The uh, blade centering which like I said I have taken this knife apart and cleaned it oiled it and put it back together um, is slightly favoring the clip side so I need to work on that a little bit. Pretty decent knife for the materials used um and yeah alrighty guys that is all i have for you today on my review or overview of my sog terminus xr and if you did like this video please like comment or subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace